there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You fall too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man, I don't know what's gotten into Stephen A. Smith. But ever since he's been on his own podcast, ever since he got the strings let loose, he sounds more like a conservative. He sounds more like a, a red pillar. You know, he's, you know, he's saying some truth now. But I don't know. Maybe it's a stunt. But let's take a listen to his latest rant. So guess what? That means I can run five miles now? That means I'm in shape? What the hell does that mean that Joe Biden looked like he had energy last night? The question is, can you rely on him to do that for four years starting next year? That's the question. He gives a speech for an hour and 10 minutes or so on a weeknight in March of 2024 and suddenly that warrants four more years for a dude that's going to turn 82 years of age in November and is expected to give four more years after that. I said before and I'll say it again. It is an utter disgrace that in the year 2024, the Democratic Party, who calls itself progressives, is begging and relying upon an 82-year-old to come save the day for 2025, 2026, 2027, in the 2028. And if you think that an hour speech offsets all of that, you smoke and crack. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, you know you old when you still reference crack as the drug of use. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? You must be smoking meth is the new phrase, man. Come on, man. Get with the times. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, yeah, he is exactly right. You know, when after the State of the Union address, you see all of these liberals and the talking heads coming out and high-fiving Biden for standing up there for, what, 90 minutes? And he talked and had somewhat of a coherent statements here and there. He was, like I said in my earlier post, I was surprised he made it. So I'll give him a round of applause for that, that he stood there for 90 minutes without falling over. So that was my congratulations to him. But you got you got Senator Raphael Warnoff saying this. And as I sat the other night and listened to the president's speech, I, I'll tell you, I said to my colleagues, uh, I don't know if that was Joe Biden or Joe Lewis, because the man came out fighting and he never let up and he's not going to let up uh, between now and November. I'm like, come on, dude, Joe Lewis? Come on, man. See, see, see. y'all be stretching it too much, man. You compare him with Joe Lewis. He came out fighting, fighting, fighting what? He was an old man screaming and ranting about nonsense. And you giving him a high five for that? Send the run off. You need to get. Jeez. Anyway, what else we got? We have, um, Roland Martin, another one. Um, you you know it's something major when all the Republicans are complaining, saying that he was loud, he was shouting, but I thought they said he was too frail and he couldn't talk. Uh, lots of energy, and he took it right to the Republicans. He stared them down. He stared the Supreme Court down. He stared all down. He he had he was he had shade. He was petty. 
uh, and he was direct. Let, let, let's not forget about Joe Scarborough. Well, I mean, had a pulse. He had Frazier's yeah. left hook. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I have joking. never seen, and, and part of this is delivery. Part of it is speech writing. Part of it is setting up the argument for the fall. I've, I've sat through a lot of these, uh, and I've never seen one side put in so many uncomfortable positions as the Republicans were last night because they were on the wrong side of history. They were on the wrong side of the polls. They were on the wrong side of politics. Mm -hmm. They were on the wrong side of decency. This was this was a tour de force uh, by Joe Biden. My goodness, what the hell's going on here? But if y'all believe that 82 year old soon coming, God willing, Joe Biden could stand there and do another four years, you see that he's already struggling right now. After the State of the Union address, everybody's hand clapping and applauding him. Let's listen to the latest gaffe. This only been four days ago, and we got four gaffes already. Let's go. And what, what, we're, what they're going to do is to ensure a national, really endanger our national security. They're going to expend, a, you know, are they going to expand personal freedoms? Well, that's what we're going to do. Folks, we have come through pretty tough times. And I know, I know we got a lot more to do. We had to stay off. A, we, we, we had to start off by vaccinating America. Trump stood flat footed during that period. Now, 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 leave Joe alone, guys. He's trying his best. But I got another one for you. Let's go. Tremendous amount of things you can cut. It may be precise. Tremendous amount of things you can do, not cut. He said, I will. And but the bottom line is he's still at it. <laughs> oh my god y'all comparing this guy this is the best you got this is the best you have even though donald trump is the best that we have he's almost the same age but you see two different contrasts somebody with a sharp mind and somebody with declining mind come on guys last not not long ago my buddy john mccain passed away my predecessor friend who went he that's how he ended his career you see the truth you see the truth and you just don't want to acknowledge it you hate to say that you're wrong you hate to admit that you made a poor choice buyer's remorse is what they call it right it's okay when you go in the voting booth just pull for donald trump and nobody gonna know about it all right you come out the booth and say yeah i voted for biden blah 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 Nobody going to know. <laughs> All right. It's going to be just between me and you. Anyway, that's the thought for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get off my lawn.